We don't know who they are, we don't know what they want. Aliens invading the Earth and the Earth's last stand. What we do know is that they're taking people. It's uh, basically a, not a remake, but a reimagining of the original XCOM game. Well, core principles from the original that we wanted to build on was basically everything. XCOM is about Earth being threatened by an unknown enemy. The world bonds together and they form uh, an elite military organization, the most elite in the history of the world, and that's where the player comes in. They are the commander of this organization. I think we were all fans of the original, um, you know, working for Firaxis, we're all fans of squad-based, turn-based yeah. strategy, so um, I've played just about every turn-based strategy game out there. I think we all had a lot of ideas and things that we wanted to do and things we liked about all of the games that we played in the past. Um, just really finding the fun things and eliminating the things that you know we didn't really care so much for. So we start with the original game and we play it and we say, okay, well we find that new players or even us old diehards, like we find this concept, we can improve this a little bit. And one of the first things we looked at was time units. And the idea was that your soldiers had a certain number of time units to move around the battlefield, to perform abilities, take shots and things like that. And actually it, it worked great in the sense that you had this resource that you were hoarding and that you had to be careful because when you spent too many, you could find yourself um, exposed and in dangerous situations. So there's this great risk reward mechanic. We said, okay, how can we simplify that and sort of free up all that headspace that that takes up in the player's head? We sort of turned um, the time units into a simplified version where the player has a number of moves that they can perform per turn, and they can choose to move, they can choose to move and shoot, they can choose to move really far, um, and then based on different abilities their soldiers have, maybe they can use those abilities to do different things. But it still has that great risk-reward mechanic. Look, I need to run really far this time, but when you do that, you're always taking the cost that you're not going to be able to shoot, and then you're going to find yourself in a difficult tactical position. <laughs> The other big thing I think that we did was, was we added cover to the game. Now tactically you have a lot more important decisions to make based off of being in low cover and high cover, flanking aliens, so in some ways we feel like we made the game more tactical. One of the advantages I think we have as a turn-based game is that we can move the camera around wherever we want. Uh, if you're making a, a game that, that has real-time response, players get really upset when you take control away from them. Well, we do that every other turn. There's been a very cinematic approach to the game that we're making now that wasn't available then, uh, simply because we can move the camera around and take advantage of the fact that we have a 3D game. We're still leveraging the 3D and, and the tech that we have available now to, to make it a uh, much more compelling experience, I think, visually than they were able to do back then. The glam cam was our way of, of kind of making a turn-based strategy game sexy. It was a way for us to, to take the camera and put it, put it in the environment in a way that, that, that kind of got you out of the normal gameplay mode, but let you see things a little clearer and a little more up close and feel like you're a little more part of the action. The idea is that when your soldier goes to take a cool shot, um, then the camera can drop in, and we've got these great dramatic scenes where you know your sniper's lining up this super long shot, and you'll see it fall it right down the barrel. And what that does is it allows a little more of an intimate connection between you and your soldiers, and of course it increases the drama of the actual combat. And the glam cam is is a great way to do that. That's just one of the ways that we sort of get the camera down there, so the player can sort of see uh, combat from their soldier's perspective. The base was a really unique challenge for us to design. Um, when we started on it, it was flat and more like a level in the game. And we really wanted to have base building, but we ran into some really uh, difficult challenges on, on it being flat and working more like a level. And uh, at a certain point, a couple of my guys had come in and they said, you know what, we keep talking about this as an ant farm. Why don't we make it like an ant farm? It is very much, you know, the G.I. Joe base that every, the kid down the street had that you, you didn't have, that you got to play with every once in a while if you went to his house. So when we, when we made it, um, that was one of the things I think really, really stands out. I think it's a really unique feature to the game. It allows us a lot of flexibility for optimization and for the player to be able to build and expand. And it's, and it's a really different, I haven't seen represented that way 
really ever. And on top of that, they're actually expanding the structure, customizing the facilities that they're, that they're adding to their base. We want them to be able to, to see their soldiers interacting and their scientists. And, and so I think it's this really neat moment where you get into the game and you have this physical structure that you've customized and you've made the decisions about what you want to focus on. And then you can see your soldiers that you've leveled up and you've grown attached to. You can see them interacting. And it's something that I think we're really proud of. We're really excited for people to see.